Hello and welcome to Nice Bird Pell. I am Jim and behind the camera as always is the song of my heart, Dawn. Say good morning, Dawn. Good morning, Dawn. We're here today at All Star Music. That's right, we're gonna stay here and see if there's anything noteworthy. Uh... Let's go. So we're here at All Star Music Resort. Uh, this is a little different for us because normally we like to go to the DVC resorts the, and uh, even the, the moderate resorts I really like. The Valley Resorts, we don't come here a lot, uh, but we have been here before. We have stayed in pretty much all of the Valley Resorts yeah, at so, one time or another. Yeah, in, including All Star Music. Uh, but. Uh, the real reason is, is because we got the room for a song. The, it was a special deal with, uh, it was the Disney Chase Visa, right? Yes. Yeah, so we got a special rate and we thought we would check it out. It's just me and Dawn, we just need a room to stay and go have some Disney time. So we thought we'd give you the full tour and uh, tell you our thoughts on it. So uh, let's take a look around. Let's go explore. It's got a nice, it's probably the biggest lobby I've ever seen. They they do a grand lobby, don't they? Everything is beautiful and large. The All-Stars have giant things. Uh, that's probably my first observation is, is that if you like like big, bold Disney or you got kids that are like impressed by by characters and and giant things, these resorts have that. You want to go check out Maestro Mickey's? Yeah, I love a good gift shop. Yeah, it looks really fun. And look, it's got a little all-star music hall of fame. Ooh, Queen. That's I awesome. I don't think they're here this weekend. I don't think so. I kind of wish they had that dress in my size. So Dawn, the refillable mugs. We haven't gotten one of these in a while because we don't always stay at resorts that are next to the, a quick service place. Uh, but the refillable mug deal was you buy the mug for the length of your stay and you can refill it with coffee or soda at your resort all week. They used to be bigger, right? Uh, I think so. Like this is, yeah. this is small. This is like gotta be like, I'm gonna say 12 to 16 ounces. I feel like they used to be big mugs. I feel like that too. Yeah, and I know, yeah, they're more expensive than they used to be too. I don't, I don't worry about that. Things go up in price, but yeah. this is shrinkflation people. It I need, is. I need a big cup of coffee. <laughs> I think it's been 10 years since we got one of those. Maybe I just got bigger. Oh, that could be. <laughs> but they have some pretty cool colors. I really like the teal. They do. The I'm designs not get it. are beautiful. Yeah. Not going to get it, but... Uh, yeah, no. That's, it's too small. It's too small. <laughs> and you can only refill them in the resort. That's right. So, yeah. I'm going to have to, like, hang around and, like, drink three cups and keep filling. And uh, I don't think they I allow you that anywhere. either. I think you have to wait so long in between each I mean, fill. It's just, I think it's just a couple minutes, but... Um, but still. But still, yeah. That's a little cup. I really like these containers, Jim. I uh, think we need the coffee one. Yeah. But on this isn't container... That, isn't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> If I was into the lounge flies, Jim, I'd definitely get one of these. I love both of these colors and sparkles. They are sparkly, they are Disney. They would definitely stand out. They're just too small for me. I feel like this is the most popular sweatshirt in Disney World. I see everybody wearing them and I've seen this for sale for years. I think our kids have this one, don't our, they? Our kids do have them. They're just not this bright yellow anymore. They're so old. <laughs> they wear them so much. They're so faded, but they lasted yeah, forever. Yeah, it's a classic. It definitely is. My other all-star music hall of fame, Selena Gomez. She plays a mean saxophone and harmonica. <laughs> All right, you want to take a brief intermission and see what the quick service is all about? That sounds good to me. It sounds like music to my ears. I hear this banana pudding cheesecake, Jim, is very popular. Sounds delicious. Yeah, I like cheesecake. 
And this mini kitchen sink sundae is so adorable. We used to have the Mickey one. We did. They have some different versions of the kitchen sink in different places. I think Magic Kingdom has a Mickey sink. Put my hand in the water and see how warm it is. I, uh, you know, it might be warm because I do think that they heat their pools. I believe it is temperature controlled, so it will probably be like 80 something degrees in the water regardless of the outside temperature. But which... you gotta get out. That is the trick, yes, yes. It's even if it's cold outside, uh, you can only stay under the water and warm so long. And we're at a value resort, so there is not a hot tub. Kind of wish they had a fire. <laughs> at, at the fire pit? Fire pits right yeah, here. Yeah, they have a fire pit. I don't know if, I don't know when they're gonna have a fire, but I do know we saw some s'mores on the list, didn't we? We did. They yeah. were s'mores uh, probably somewhere around sunset. Yeah, so they'll they'll have a fire for us at some point. They got a nice fire pit here. Um, before we talk about the outdoor stuff though, um, uh, we'll, we'll summarize a little bit about the, the inside. The gift shop uh, was a decent size. A lot of toys, right? A lot of toys. Yeah. Definitely kid, kiddie focused. Yes, this is a little more kid oriented than some of the other resorts. Uh, they did have a good supply of a mix of things. Everything from magic bands and clothes to a little grocery section. It's bigger than some other gift shops I've seen. It's not the biggest. Uh, but it was well stocked with little of everything. What I didn't see was a ton of merch for the All-Stars. Not really. I think there was a cup or a mug or... Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there was other things too that we just didn't really see, but nothing yeah. big. I mean, it may just not be as brag-worthy as, say, the Animal Kingdom Lodge. True. Uh, that, True. That may be it. But there was a cup or two in there if, if you had to have something with the resort logo. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, all in all, a uh, decent shop if you need to pop in and get something, uh, a last-minute gift or a drink for the room or whatever. Uh, it's open till like 11 o'clock at night, which is pretty decent. Yeah. And then the quick service, uh, it's big and busy. They had like a bakery section. It had a few, you know, your bagels and croissants and things yeah. like that and cupcakes. Platters with, with Mickey waffles and breakfast sandwiches. Well, those were a, in two other sections. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two that, sections. Yeah. But you basically go in there and hop around to the different sections and get everything together that you want and then cash out and then, and then go find a seat. Uh, a lot of seating, but it was busy in there. It was really busy. Yeah. I do want to go back so we can see what they have for lunch and dinner because we, we saw a pizza window. Uh, so it looks like they'll have the ability to have lots of choices. Yeah, not too many choices for breakfast, but really how many choices are there for breakfast? Yeah, yeah, you can go pancakes and waffles or you can go bacon and eggs. Uh, That's all there is. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Little variations of all of that. And you can get some fruit and, you know, yogurt and things like that. And then they had a section where you could, like, grab and go salads and sandwiches. Yeah. That seems to be there all the time. It's nice that they have those options available because sometimes you just, just need a little salad. You just want to go, yeah. You just need a little salad. <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to happen for me this on this trip, but it's nice to know it's there. All right, so the directory. Where are we? <laughs> you are here. Ooh. So we've it's been through resort. Melody Hall, which is where we had the gift shop and the quick service. Uh, and then we're going to come out and see the pool. And we can see there's a lot of buildings here. Which one will we be in? I don't know. Where did we stay at when we were here the one and only time? I believe we were here. I kind of remember a saxophone. Oh, okay. So do you want to go running, Jim? <laughs> you know, I really don't. <laughs> but the one thing I will say is that this is a, like a good uh, map diagram of the three all-star resorts and how close they really are to each other. And yeah, if you're a runner, you could easily hop between these three yourself. They're, they are right next to each other. So it's the movies on the left. Yep. Music in the center and sports at the end. That is correct, yeah.
I, I like music as a theme the best, I think. I think movies would be pretty cool too. Sports, yeah. we're not into sports. Nope, but we'll get a taste of, of the all-star life here at the music resort. So it's the Calypso Pool. It is the Calypso Pool. It is sandwiched right between the Calypso section of rooms featuring the three caballeros spraying some water. Uh, not a lot of water features. There's no slides or anything, uh, but it is a big pool. And most importantly, no hot tub. Yeah, <laughs> most disappointingly as well. Uh, so this is one of two pools, right? It is. There's also the piano pool, which we'll go see. Yeah, we'll go check it out. I like this pool because right over there, you can do your laundry. Which is really cool because they had machines that would go to an app and let you know when it was time to move your laundry. So you could just hang out here at the pool and know when to go in and move your laundry. And that's exactly what we did. So yeah. I'm sure it's the same. Super convenient. Super. That is a really large jazz in. Yeah, that's going to be a loud drum when they start playing that later. Yeah. That's going to keep us up at night, I think. I'll know it's you. <laughs> All right. So this is the piano pool. Yeah, the piano pool is actually shaped like a piano. That's cool. Yeah. It's got, it's got uh, the note things. Yeah, it's got all the, the keys, all the keys. And uh, I think you can jump on them and play a song. Huh? No, <laughs> no, no jumping on the pool deck. Uh, this seems a little bit out of the way, but super cute. Look at Ariel. She's playing a shell guitar, I guess. Yeah. So that reminds me, if you have not taken the time to subscribe to our channel, you're going to want to do that. That way, you'll always be part of our world. Aww. Oh, it's pickleball. I don't even know what pickleball is. It's another game where you hit the ball back and forth over a net. I guess. I'd never heard of pickleball until I watched The Golden Bachelor. Same. Same. And then I see supplies for pickleball in now stores. It's, now it's a thing, right? Well, I think or it's always been a thing. Or was it always been, been a thing, thing and we just never noticed it until you hear about it the first time? Until we moved to Florida. Oh, that's true too. Yeah. Yeah. We only heard about snowballs up north. All right, so here we are in our room. Let's go check it out. Let's go. And I think the first thing we'll notice is that this is a small room. It's really, really yeah. tiny. Now, we've stayed at Value Resorts before. We stayed at Pop Century once, and we stayed at a family suite here at All Star Music, and I remember the rooms being small, but I will say this, my first impression of this room is that it looks refreshed. It looks clean and modern. It has all the amenities. It's definitely better looking than the last time I was here. I do have to say, I'm not really sure if we could be any further away from the buses. So we're at building five, uh, the Country Fair building, because they know me and my love of country. Um, but the building itself is way in the back way so it's probably not far from the piano pool but if we want to take the buses we've got to walk the length of the resort anyway let's take a look at the room yeah all right so i think this is a pull down bed it is we can pull down that down in a minute and show it uh, but for now it's out of the way it's a nice table yeah we won't use it we, we might put all of our stuff on it. Probably. Or, or we'll pull the bed down and put all our stuff on that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, a couple of chairs. You can see this is going to pull down and the table will just fold with it, which is great. Um, Ooh. And we, okay. we talked about this the last time we stayed at a Disney resort. They have the Hey Disney uh, Amazon Alexa device where you can make it tell you Disney jokes. Hey Disney. Hey Disney. Oh, hang on, I have to unmute it. Hey Disney. 
Tell me a joke. How can you tell the difference between Sully and Mike from Monsters Inc? Sully is a big guy, and Mike, he's a big guy. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, that's some fun artwork. Yeah, uh, it's 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 fun. Mickey, Minnie, and and, and Donald. I like it. Down. That's that's a lot of pillows. That's excellent because yeah. they're mostly mine. <laughs> In the bathroom. I like how they like separated out. Yeah, with the the sink area and versus the actual uh, uh, shower room, because uh, yeah, you, you can share the bathroom a little easier. Yeah, two people getting ready basically at the same time. Yeah, but it looks like you know some great mirrors, a nice sink. That's uh, a really nice mirror. Yeah, uh, towels everywhere. Uh, there's a lovely shower in here with all of the soaps chained to the wall, the nice H2O products. Little closet area. Yeah. It's very open. Very, very open. Yeah, everything looks very clean and modern. I'm really liking it. It's definitely a fine room for two. It's perfect for us. Yeah. And I suppose if you were here with a little kid or two, you could Hang your hat here. Yeah, why don't you uh, pull the bed down so we can see what that looks like. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, that's Aww, pretty cool. That is really cute. You know, if nothing else, you gotta pull these beds down just to see the picture that's behind them. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is fantastic. I like that artwork even better. This is probably just like a foot, foot and a half in between <laughs> the beds. Yeah, with two beds in the room, this does feel like slightly more claustrophobic. Yeah. Um, especially if you like had a, if you did have like four people in here, imagine the suitcases and everything. Like just trying oh. to squirrel all that away. Yeah. Um, might have to use the drawers. I don't know. I've never really done that. I've but, never done that. Uh, we haven't stayed long enough for that to happen. No, no. If you're only going to be there a week at the most, it's like, what's the point of like, uh, like moving in, you know? But I hate packing. <laughs> but this is, this is a very functional space for being a small space. It's a good value. Which is it why is, they call it a value yes, resort. It is a value resort, yes. And most importantly, the thing that everybody really wants to know about these rooms, is there a coffee maker? Is there a refrigerator? The answer is yes. This coffee maker is a little one. It's a little Cuisinart pod. Uh, so, But it does come with coffee pods, so you can uh, have coffee made in your room. And there's some, some creamers and sugars and a couple of tea bags. And then underneath, is this nice refrigerator and it's got a nice clear glass door and look at that it lights up i love it oh yeah i'm so, very excited about this room it, it has everything we need i think except a close proximity to the front of the yeah, resort yeah really far yeah it'll be good for us it's closer to go to the car <laughs> Yeah, it probably is, but you don't want to drive, right? I didn't really want to drive this time. Yeah, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. If no, we I, have, have, I have to walk. If we get to the front and we have to stop for a snack or a drink, we will. I guess there's a trade-off. So I may need a little nap before uh, before I try to venture up to the front of the resort to get some food. Maybe I'll just dream about pizza and burgers and whatever else they might have. Some cheesecake for dessert. A nice cold beer to wash it down with. All right, let's go. Okay, the lunch slash dinner menu is up and it looks like there's a wide variety of choices from burgers and hot dogs to chicken parm, meatball sub, mac and cheese with barbecued beef, and of course pizza, which we saw the pizza window before. Uh, these are all things I like. Let me see what else is going on. This station has a create your own entree. Uh, it looks like you could do some roasted chicken or braised beef. This is like real meal stuff. 
They have an impossible meatloaf. Sesame chicken stir fry. I could probably eat here for several days in a row. So we got some great food at the quick service. I must have stood there for five minutes trying to decide between pizza and a burger. I really just kind of wanted pizza, but the burgers looked really good. Mm. We're still gonna be here for dinner, so maybe you can have a burger for dinner. I know, I must have found five different things I would I would enjoy eating here, at least. And, and at the end of the day, I got the pizza, which is good. Is it? Yeah, but yours yeah. looks really good. <laughs> Your chicken oh looks God. fantastic. Oh my goodness, my chicken is half a chicken. I did not expect a half a chicken. It's enormous. Uh, I am I'll, every time I order chicken, I like hope it looks like that, and it never does. The food here looks really good. Yeah, yeah. And, so half a chicken, and I got some green beans, and it's got like some garlic stuff on it, and then roasted carrots. Roasted tricolor carrots. It looks like a really nice and somewhat healthy meal. Um, like if I got that for dinner, I I'd, I would be so pleased anywhere. Well, there's a lot of food here, so there might still be leftovers for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got carrots and celery with my pizza. Uh, it was either that or chips, and I, I just wasn't feeling the chips, but they came in a, in a prepackaged container. I might save them. Maybe we'll eat them. We'll have snack on them later but yeah lots of great choices here i really like the looks of yours you'll have to let me know how it is what you gonna get refreshing interludes jim um i'm not sure these are some pretty good looking drinks you know i am prone to just getting a beer but then sometimes i see these fruity drinks and i start to feel real vacation -y, you know they got a pina colada i know you like those those are good they have those at a lot of resorts Oh my goodness, I might have to get one of those. Looks like they have a blueberry lemonade and a, a, a Mai Tai. Yeah, they got that Prose thing that looks pretty good, all blended up, strawberry margarita. I like all these things. A ba banana cabana. Oh, that's the name of the bar at um, uh, Caribbean Beach. That's what it is. What you got there, Jim? I have the Pina Colapa. Ooh. Yeah. This is so tropical. How can you not get this if you're at a resort, right? You have to. And that's um, like coconutty, berry y. It is a nice blend of coconut and fruit. Like just a little bit of raspberry, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks like there's some sort of syrup. So the pineapple is for snacking on later, but. <laughs> So we've had quite an adventure at the pools here already. The uh, Calypso pool was closed for a couple of hours um, while they fixed something. So we went over to the piano pool and uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, they they uh, had a little drink cart over there. It was sunny as all get out. I think I'm getting my, my tan back from last year. There's not a cloud in the sky today. Oh, I know, it's, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Uh, the Calypso pool has opened back up, so we came back over here just to uh, get a little change of scenery and... It's uh, closer to the bar. <laughs> it is. We got, I gotta go over to Singing Spirits and, and get a little something something cool and refreshing. Dawn, do you want anything? No, I think I'm okay. Okay. So I wonder if this music that's on the railing is a song. I don't know. Any musical geniuses out there? We had a great time at the All-Star Music. Yeah, I like All-Star Music. It was, it was pretty cool. I have to say, we were here years ago and I had a little bit of reservation about this, but it was such a good price. It was too good to turn down. Reservation. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and honestly, a lot of a lot of nice things happened here. The rooms have been renovated since we were here last. Uh, Everything was wonderful. I was worried about bus service. Um, every time we got on a bus, it was quick and no problem, no issues whatsoever. Um, and yeah, all the amenities were here in one form or another. Absolutely. So what's what's what, missing? What's missing? A hot tub. A hot tub. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's not much missing. The hot tub isn't here. There's no big slide at the pool. 
there's um there's no microwave in the room there which wasn't we discovered. a microwave but it's in the quick service area yeah, yeah that was still available um and yeah I, I don't really know what else is missing here other than maybe like some uh you know sit down sophistication sit down restaurants you're sit right yeah. sit down restaurants the uh, the only place to eat is the quick service, but the quick service is fantastic. I thought it was great. Like it's because there's so many people eating here, it's big with a lot of choices and a lot of lines to go through. So uh, it was really good. We ate there. It was fantastic. I liked it. And it is just great being on Disney property and having access to the transportation and the Disney feels like all, all of the the big character stuff around. It's just really a lot of fun. It is. Um, this place, I think, is for you if you're on a budget but still want the Disney feel or if you've got young kids who are just going to be wowed by the, you know, the bright colors and, and uh, big displays. The only reason I think this place might not be for you is if you're looking for a level of sophistication or if you have like a super big family that needs a lot of room needs a lot of room the biggest room they have here is a family suite which is about the size of two yeah. little guest rooms or um, if you're here for like a week or more i think you probably need a little bit more amenities i think we made it work in a few days <laughs> we made it work the room felt a little small to us because we're used to having a little more space. Yeah, but, so space is an issue in, in the guest rooms. They're small. It was really kind of small. Everything, but it was fine for everything you us. need is in there, but it is small. If you have a big family or if you just want your elbow room, maybe this place isn't for you. But all in all, we had a great time. We definitely got the Disney feels staying here at All Star. So there's that. I can tell I had a good time because I don't want to go. Oh, we have to go though. I know. <laughs> we'll uh, be back though. <laughs> we will be back. We're going to try some more resorts for you guys. We have an Airbnb planned in the future. We're going to check that out. Yeah, we have some some great plans for later in the year we too. Do. do we even want to spill those beans or is it a surprise? Just a couple more, you know, we're DVC members, so we got a couple more DVC stays and deluxe resorts, but I kind of want to try a moderate. Yeah, that would be great too. If the price comes up and we get a good deal like we did this time, we'll try it. All right. Well, thanks for coming along. We hope you enjoyed looking around at All Star Music. Go on. How'd I do today? Nice work, pal. Yeah, there's Huey, Dewey, and Louie playing in the band. Um, and I looked at that and all I thought was, HDL, is that the good cholesterol or the bad cholesterol? <laughs> I mean, we're better lit. We're lit. We're lit. <laughs> not really. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> You're lit, I'm not lit. <laughs> I'm driving.